Hey, 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 everybody. I just wanted to go over some things that would be simple ways for you guys to clean up your diet, like right now. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, or say that they're eating pretty well or, you know, trying to make some changes and oftentimes it's, it's just not enough, if you will. And so I just wanted to give you guys some, some basic things that you could start doing right now that would give you probably some pretty immediate results. Okay. So first things first is you want to ensure that you're drinking enough water. So what that means is you want to make sure that you're drinking at least half of your body weight in ounces of water. So for instance, if you weigh 140 pounds, you want to be drinking 70 ounces of water a day. If you're somebody that drinks soda or if you're somebody that drinks a bunch of coffee with creamer and all of that kind of thing, you definitely want to clean that up. You want to, it's it's cool to use like some unsweetened almond milk instead of creamer. Um, rather than drinking soda, maybe try drinking seltzer water or something like that. If you know a lot of people are like, well, I just don't like water. I mean, well, it's, you have to drink water, right? So. Uh, the seltzer water is really nice because it still gives you that fizz, um, but it takes away all of the yucky stuff from the soda, okay? The other thing is, you know, diet sodas and things like that, they're not any better. In fact, they're definitely worse. So diet sodas, I would eliminate that and again, replace that with seltzer water. You can do also, a lot of times people are like, oh, well, I'm drinking this flavored water. Well, the same thing applies with the flavored water. There's a bunch of like toxins and chemicals in those where it would be much more beneficial if you're just using either like um, you could do like cucumber, mint, lime, lemon, you know, berries, whatever you want in your water or your seltzer water or whatever. Again, if you do drink coffee, eliminate the creamer and sugar and all of that stuff. Go for the unsweetened almond milk and that's going to be a big help for there. Um, sauces and marinades like ketchup, sauces, uh, ranch, you know, all of those kinds of things that people tend to like just really go overboard with, you want to really start eliminating those kinds of things. Um, there are like, there's some organic ketchup out there or maybe there are organic sauces like marinades are okay if you can find an organic marinade, you know, that's very, very low sugar or no sugar added or and low sodium, those kinds of things. But usually any marinades and sauces that you're gonna find in the store are just full of sodium like sodium is the biggest thing yes we need sodium in our diet however you can get that from natural foods and you don't want to have an extra a bunch of extra sodium so if you look on the label on some of like for instance if you are using a barbecue sauce or um, I used to use this uh, what is called uh, Szechuan sauce. I made my I make my own Chinese food and It's like 1100 milligrams of sodium or something like that, right? So of course you're gonna be like completely bloated and retain a bunch of water when you have all of that sodium so you can look up different spice or you know different marinades that you can make on your own um, using olive oil or sometimes I use like coconut I always cook with coconut oil just a little tiny bit really brings out flavor and spices and other things we like spicy food here so coconut oil is pretty much my go-to but I do use you know the extra virgin olive oil and a lot of other things um, hot sauces mustards and like pure extracts are always like considered free or like you know just go for it if you want to have hot sauce if you want to have mustard any kind of mustard you know those are things that are uh, free from a bunch of chemicals and stuff and that obviously will add a bunch of flavor mrs. dash or like if you live near a Wegmans or if you've heard of flavor God or any of those sorry I have a bunch of <laughs> notifications popping up any of those are going to offer a salt free option or are going to be more pure spices so like anything that's pure of course like oregano and turmeric and you know all of those kinds of things if that's all it is that's completely fine to use you can again add those to olive oil or whatever you want to make your marinade um, and that would be fine too mm, re reading labels i go over this quite a bit too you know the the graph or chart if you will on the back of your products like 
it's good to look at as far as like okay how much sodium is there how much sugar is there those are things are good to look at but really you really want to look at the actual ingredients so it's going to be under or sometimes it's like on the other side now um, when you're looking at the front of products I would show you bad examples but excuse me I don't really have any bad examples here if anybody wants me to come over and do like a a cleanup or a makeover of their pantry like please 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 let me know I will totally come over and do that anyways a lot of times it will say organic or you know it, it's very misleading what the things are able to say on the front of packaging the United States has like the worst labeling of anywhere like all of the other countries ban all of these toxins and all of these things that are put into our foods and that's why we have higher levels of disease and cancer in the United States because of the labeling and what's allowed in our stuff same with like products facial products household cleaners you know all of those different things and so it's really 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 important to start cleaning that up because like something like 80% of cancers are environmentally I exposed right like brought on by things in the environment and what we're using um, so if you're reading the label the actual ingredients and there's a bunch of things that you can't pronounce or if you're seeing like red number five or blue you know blue number two or yellow number four you know those aren't good they're not good they're again cancer causing agents they're things that you don't want you don't want to be giving your kids like yes M&Ms have them on there we'll eat occasional M&Ms I'm not saying that that we never ever ever have those things but when you're looking at things that you're eating every single day you want to make sure that you're reading that label appropriately fat free low fat you know all of those things don't do that it's obviously we went through that whole phase or like you you don't know like that's the other thing is you don't really know when you start reading labels or you think you're like getting healthy by eating fat for your low fat and all of that means is that they've actually added a bunch more additives to make it low fat or fat free and so stay away from that that's also going to be included in your protein shakes or like people will talk to me about shakeology and be like well you it's higher in sugar and it's you know this and that and the reason why is because we don't compromise our ingredients everything is actually pure form the way that it's processed is like no other you know it's it's the best one out there for a reason and so we don't want to compromise our ingredients and that's why it's a little higher in sugar if that makes sense so um, the other thing is you know you you're not able to pronounce those ingredients or if there's more than five or seven ingredients on the label then it's probably not something that you should be eating at all period um, again sometimes you're gonna have things we have treats around here I'm not saying that we're perfect but I am very 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 you will see me in the grocery store reading every single label it's just what I do um, a because things are very misleading on the front of a package and B that's what my passion is is nutrition that's what I have you know a lot of knowledge in and research and have talked to so many nutritionists and I will be getting my nutrition degree I believe next year I have a lot of classes under my belt and so you know I'm not just making these things up to tell you out of the blue another big thing is that for me I've been following the vegetarian meal plan if you will for the last 30 days and I've been kind of like with our programs there's two different options there's like basically you can count beans and lentils as proteins rather than just carbs um, and so I wasn't doing that the first month and so I am going to be doing that the second month and so just knowing what your body can handle as far as dairy as far as grains as far as you know those kinds of things like people have sensitivity to certain things you might not necessarily be allergic but you certainly might have sensitivities and then there just are better carbs like I barely ever eat pasta for instance I barely ever eat bread um, I will eat like tortilla here and there um, but mostly what I eat is like quinoa is a you know a really good option brown brown white bleh, brown rice wild rice corn on the cob um, oatmeal oatmeal for me makes me very very bloated which is a bummer because I was really enjoying having oatmeal especially because I'm lifting heavy um, and I really like sweet potatoes other things like couscous crackers cereal 
Let's see, bread, pita bread, waffles, pancakes, bagels, all of those things are going to be considered carbs that aren't as good. So if you're able to stick with carbs that are, you know, like I said, quinoa, brown rice, wild rice, corn on the cob, millet, buckwheat, barley, um, oatmeal, steel cut, or rolled. Um, like quinoa is a complete protein, right? So that's a really, really good one to have. Um, for me, things like tofu, um, I will be doing now, I'm going to be able to add more things as proteins rather than carbs, like I was just explaining. Um, so having like, you know, veggie burgers, lentils, edamame, peas, and then beans and also refried beans refried beans so that's really exciting for me I'm gonna see how this works out and how my body responds to that um I am getting ripped obviously and you know it's not <laughs> like everyone's like oh my gosh look at your pictures you're so you know but I'm actually slimming down a lot and so it's not like I'm just like you know if I don't flex I mean my arms look normal like yeah I still look muscular but I'm not <laughs> It's funny, like, people are just like, oh my god, look at your arms, don't you think, like, you're getting too huge? And I'm like, no, I actually just look really toned and thin when you just see me when I'm not flexing. So, anyways, um, the reason why I'm doing the vegetarian meal plan is just because we... I was starting to get a little grossed out by meat. Um, AJ hasn't been a huge fan of meat, and it's been agreeing with my body. You know, I'm able to kind of perform better and I'm less sluggish and my skin is better um, I am getting a little tired as you can see I've been yawning a couple of times <sighs> but that's just because I think I'm actually a lot more productive during the day and I work really late um, and then I get up really early so anyways there's that but let me know, uh, again, so water intake, make sure you're drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water, getting rid of sauce and marinades and ranch dressings and dips and all of those different things that people love to just slosh all over their food, you know, get rid of that stuff. Um, salads, I'll even, when I, if, if and when I do eat a salad, there are different salad dressings that I could share with you if you wanted those, but like you can make like avocado, you know, cilantro type of a dressing and again if you're making any kind of dressings or dip out of whole foods and not adding a bunch of other additives in there that you shouldn't be having you're gonna be okay otherwise sprinkling you know I like to sprinkle on like actually paprika or something like that or like my thing is I just basically what I basically eat every day is like a Greek salad over um, cottage cheese it's pretty much it you know cottage cheese tomatoes cucumbers um, Sometimes I'll do, I used to do this mix of like, uh, what was it, red onion, uh, garbanzo beans I've been doing again, red onion, strawberries, you know, there's just so many different things that you can do that you would normally do like on a salad, but I do it on cottage cheese. So um, hot sauce, mustards, extracts, as long as they're pure extracts, those are considered free foods, you know, so go ahead and use that on anything. More than five ingredients or a bunch of ingredients that you can't pronounce. You don't want to incorporate those into your diet on a daily basis. And then just just playing around with the carbs that you eat. Like there's, it's a fact that many, many, many people have a sensitivity or, you know, get sluggish off of eating only carbs like bread, pasta, and things like that. So, you know, trying quinoa, brown rice, there's always mixtures, things like that. Oh, yay. Hey, girl, thank you so much. Um, I love just sharing. You know, it's I'm able to help so many people behind the scenes. And so usually my live videos are based off of things that people message me privately about. And then I'm like, oh, my gosh, every, a lot of other people would like to hear about that, right? So um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I would love to actually um, hook up with you. Let me know about the dance class. AJ is asking about dance. Um, so anyways, that is just my little help for you. If you're able to kind of follow that even through the weekend, if you've started it even tomorrow, I'm sure that you would see a pretty big difference even by Monday. So, you know, figure it out if you have issues with, again, like getting off of the soda or, you know, drinking enough water or whatever the case is. I Like I said, I always suggest just adding adding mint or cucumber or berries or a combination of those things. Um, 
and that should help. Usually, usually the seltzer helps the people with the soda addictions, um, just because it's the fizziness and whatnot. So, anyways, please message me your comment below. Please ask any questions in this group. I I love actually providing this group with more detail than I do with just my personal page. I like to keep my personal page a lot for our family stuff also. Um, but I just want to make sure that I'm here to be able to help everybody. And so have a really good night and I will check in tomorrow.